are. Where have you been? All right, whatever. Have you got it? All right, where is it? Where is it? Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com and welcome to the M-Title Cinematic 2 overview and tutorial. M-Title Cinematic 2 is a pack of 50 different pre-animated cinematic titles. M-Title Cinematic 2 can be found in your titles library under M-Title Cinematic 2. As you can see, we have 50 different pre-animated titles opening title sequences, and closing credits. All of these titles can be used together by simply modifying the font to match. So why don't we recreate our opening title sequence? In the beginning here, I used M Title Cinematic number 10. So over in M Title Cinematic, let's just pick that up and we will drag that in on top of where we want that to be. And you can see here that we are already presented with this pre-animated title and some on-screen controls. These on-screen controls allow you to pick the title up really quickly and you can adjust the position, scale, and rotation. So I know I wanted to use this empty space here with my title, so I'm just going to position that really quickly and scale that down just a bit. Now over in your inspector, you have animation in and out options. You have animation in speed and animation out speed. And you can adjust your content position, scale, and rotation via the inspector. Now something new is you might see content float. And what that is doing is just allowing that text to float ever so slightly so that it is as if it's animated and just a slow, slow move. In this case, it's adjusting on the Z space so you can see that there is a push out as we go negative and a push forward as we go positive. I'm just gonna leave that at the preset negative 10 so there will be a very slight push out on that text that you can see there. Modifying text is very easy. As you can see here, I'm going to change this and I want that to say seed films rather than echo. Now I want to make an adjustment to the tracking of the word seed and not films. As you can see here, when we make that adjustment, it affects everything. I do not want to do that. So I'm going to actually click where it says seed films and we get our default title inspector in Final Cut. Now when I highlight seed, I can go into title tracking and the adjustment is made only on that word. All right, let's go back over to our title. And of course you can make all adjustments to the rest of that title with our subtitle. We can turn that on and off. We can make adjustments to our line that underscores that information as well as making adjustments to the thickness, etc. And notice that any adjustments that you make, our title is going to move so that it's not covering anything up or getting in the way there. So it is adaptive. So let's push forward in our timeline here. And you can see now that we have the executive producer of this film, Motion VFX. So with this, we used M title cinematic number 43. So I'm just going to disable this one by pressing V and I'll show you how to recreate that. So let's grab M title cinematic two. 
number 43. We're gonna drag that in and reposition that really quickly. And once again, we are presented with on-screen control, so we can pick that up and very quickly move that to where we want it. I was really wanting to use the lines in this building here, so we repositioned that and just scaled that down so the executive producer will fit right there on the small portion of that building. We changed the top bit of our title to motion and the bottom to VFX. And once again, you are given the options animation in and out, animation speeds, content position. You can select that content float. And here, once again, it is on Z, so it's moving in and out. So as you notice, we have this vertical alignment for our first title here, and you are given the option, align text to the top, align text to the middle, and align text to the bottom. Now you are able to change the title direction from vertical to horizontal if you would like, but I really love the way that looks in the composition of our scene here. So we're gonna keep that at vertical. And again, you are presented with your subtitle text that you can toggle on and off, make adjustments here. All right, let's push down to our next M title cinematic. And this was M title cinematic two, number 47. So I'm just gonna click V to disable. And let's grab that M title 47. We will drag that in, readjust the time and here is where i was able to very quickly make adjustments with my on-screen controls i wanted to adjust this text along the lines in the street here so by grabbing my on-screen controls and using my handle for rotation i was able to very quickly align that to the road now i did not make any changes to this text but as you can see if we wanted to we could very easily do so now in these titles, we are using source sans here from here on out. So we're going to make some adjustments to our font here in just a second. Let's move down and you can see our written by, which is really a lot of fun. This is M title number 13. So I'm gonna click V to disable. Let's go and grab M title number 13 here. Now this is used really for like a title of a film or something like that, but I just wanted to show it to you. It was a lot of fun because we do show the name of our film here at around the one minute mark. And so, but I just thought, I mean, this looks great even as it is if we wanted that scene to be introducing our film. However, I just changed Wanderer to written and we can come down in our title and change this to by George Edmondson. I'm going to change my subtitle size to match, and then I'm going to grab my on-screen controls, and we can do it so quickly, just scale that into our doorway here and we are good to go. That is just beautifully animated. I just love that look. Now, the great thing about the way this one is built is in our subtitle offset, your mask will move along with your text. So if you wanted a written by closer to the bottom, maybe closer to the top, etc., that mask will follow your text. All right, we will push down to our next scene. We have a co-producer scene here. And this was M title number 34. So I'm gonna click V to disable. Let's go and grab M title cinematic number 34. We can bring that in. We use our on screen controls to very quickly place that in the shot in our composition. And I changed our subtitle here to the names of two of the guys that helped me film this video, which I'm so appreciative Jacob Cantrell and Gavin Manning. And you can see that Source Sans is actually already the default font here. So now we know that these are matching so we can move on. 
This one was a lot of fun. I love this animation here in our next title, which is M title number 39. So why don't we disable this? Grab M title number 39. Let's just drag that in. We will use our on-screen controls here. And you can see that this font is not the same. So we are going to go ahead and let's change the name here. Tuscaloosa, Alabama is where we are located. And so I thought it would be fun to just click lighting by Tuscaloosa, even though we did bring some of our own lighting, but a majority of that was the ambient light just there in the city. But you can simply click the drop down and let's just go ahead and search for the Source Sans Pro. There it is. And there you go. Now all of our titles are matching. And again, we did Lighting By. And we will change this font as well to Source Sans Pro. So here is the big one. The one where we have the big dramatic scene where we pull out the somewhat believable fake gun that we have here and we just cut the black and we use this m title number three so i'm going to disable that let's go in we will find m title cinematic number three just drag that in and again we have our on-screen control options we have animation in and out our speed all of our position and this is a single title and we just change that to the tutorial we are set already at default source sans pro this is a lot of fun because you can see our title clone opacity so you can just make adjustments to that if you want the amount of craziness that you want to be happening here with our title tracking rate amount and if you wanted to of course you could add that drop shadow all right, thank you for checking out our quick tutorial and overview for M Title Cinematic 2. This video was a blast to create. I want to thank Motion VFX for allowing us to go out and make these sequences every single week. We really, really love doing this and creating content for you all for these tutorials. So if you have any questions, always ask in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.